oh boy, you see the title. This is fun to get real. But I want to say love and blessings to all my beautiful patriots, brothers and sisters around the world. Hope y'all are ready to crack open the cold in November. But man, tons of them need to be held accountable. Them Dems and Biden and even the FBI. Check this out. Whoa, whoa, boy. And God bless Senator Cruz. You are not, every one of you should be deeply concerned about the damage being done to the integrity of the institutions in which you operate. My office hears regularly from FBI agents and from assistant U.S. attorneys who are likewise concerned about the politicization and weaponization of the Department of Justice and the FBI. And this is profoundly damaging to the rule of law in our nation. Last month, a whistleblower brought to light the existence in the FBI of a report in FD 1023 in which the informant alleges that President Biden and his family members engaged in a $5 million bribery scheme during his time as vice president. Deputy Director Abadi, is it true that the FBI has a report making those allegations? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, Senator. And why is that? I'm just not going to comment on uh, information we received, investigations. Or you owe an matters. obligation to the American people to be candid about evidence of corruption by the President of the United States? This is uh, an area that I'm not going to get into with you, Senator. Well, I understand you don't want to, and that's why people are mad at the FBI, because you're stonewalling and covering up serious allegations of evidence of corruption from the president. Yesterday, Senator Chuck Grassley stood on the Senate floor and alleged that there are 17 recordings of this informant from Burisma, Ukrainian natural gas company. 15 of them are recordings, voice recordings of him talking to Hunter Biden. Two of them are voice recordings of him talking to Joe Biden, Deputy Director Abate. Does the FBI have 17 voice recordings laying out evidence of a bribery scheme? Senator, I'd add all, I would add also that uh, we've worked with the House Oversight Committee. Yeah, this is the, the Senate. We're the other side of the Capitol. This is the Senate. Do you have those 17 recordings? I'm not going to comment on any investigative matters, Senator. See, that's the problem. The FBI, and I've had this conversation with Chris Ray too, this is why you are damaging the institution. The American people have a right to know whether there is serious, credible evidence that the President of the United States took a $5 million bribe. And by the way, if it's false, Chairman Durbin just rolled his eyes. If Chairman Durbin were interested in the rule of law, we would have a hearing on these allegations. But of course, the Democrats don't want a hearing on the, these allegations. And to be clear, if the allegations are false, you know who could disprove them? Joe Biden. He could call for this to be released publicly. But the FBI is stonewalling. Would two, you agree? Two things, Senator. No sure. one's stonewalling. The 1023 you just said you was provided to answer the question. in response to a subpoena. Okay, then why'd you refuse to committee. answer my the, question? The pertinent information is there, and I reject your assertion that the why FBI is Why did you refuse to answer my question? I just answered your question. Okay, so yes, you have a 1023. Do you have the 17 recordings, yes or no? I'm not going to get further into that. So Senator. you're stonewalling. You can't say I'm not refusing to answer your question, but I won't answer your question. I'm going to answer within the parameters that we operate in. Here. That's the problem. The FBI has right now an unlimited hubris that you believe you are unaccountable. You don't believe you're accountable to the United States Congress, and you don't believe you're accountable to the American people. And you are doing damage. The FBI is a great institution. When I go home to Texas, people ask me, should we abolish the FBI? Now, I tell them no, because you have heroes and patriots working for you that are catching child predators, that are catching terrorists. But you're sitting there happily erecting a wall to protect Joe Biden. Will you provide to this committee, not the House, the Senate Judiciary Committee, will you provide the FD 1023 and will you provide the 17 recordings so we can assess what is the evidence, the specific credible evidence that Joe Biden personally took a $5 million bribe from a foreign national? Senator, we will work with this committee, you and other members, to provide 
uh, the information within the parameters of the process. Will you provide the FD-1023, yes or no? I will take that back and we will work with our so team. So you're not first. answering that. Will you provide the 17 recordings? We will take that back and we'll work with you. So you're not staff. answering that either. Did you investigate in any way, shape, or form these allegations? Senator, once again, I'm not going to comment. So you're not going to say whether you did your job? We do our job to the very best of our ability. Well, not here. You're not answering a single question to the American people. And you may think this is esoteric. I promise you, millions of Americans are concerned. You know who isn't concerned? Not a single Senate Democrat. We're going to go through this whole hearing. Not one Democrat will ask a question about this. You know who else isn't concerned? The corporate media who is joining with the Democrats in covering up this evidence. If Joe Biden is innocent... The evidence should be made public and demonstrate that he's innocent. But if he is not, is it true this informant who alleged that he personally took a bribe was an informant the FBI had relied upon previously in other investigations? Yes or no? Senator, in each and every uh, investigation that we have, all the work that we do, I asked the you expectation yes or no is that every I logical asked, avenue, avenue of investigation be pursued I asked you a yes or fullest. no question. Are you going to answer it? Yeah, I'm, I'm answering your question. Was the informant one you had relied on previously in other investigations? Yes or no? Senator, we run down every piece of information. Every you're not lead. answering it then. You're refusing Objectively, to answer it. So you're refusing to answer the question. To the fullest extent possible. You're refusing to answer the question. Senator, Is that your time has expired. In all instances. Senator, your time is disgraceful. Period. It's disgraceful, Deputy De Director Abate. Disgraceful. Senator, your time has expired. A member of this committee read it. Right, the FBI director, let's just get the record straight. The FBI director initially said, it doesn't exist. Then Senator Grassley said, I've read it. Then he said, oh, okay, well, gotcha. I guess it does exist. Now you're going back and forth with members of this committee, what's in it. Why do you just release it? Is it classified? The document is not classified. Okay, will you commit to releasing it? Senator, we'll take that back and we will work with you in this committee. Uh, how about just a yes or no? Will you commit to releasing this unclassified document that alleges that the president of the United States, the president of the United States, has taken five million dollars or more in bribes from a foreign nation? The document has already been released pursuant to a subpoena to the House Oversight Committee. Has it, it been released will, to this committee? We will work with this committee within the parameters that are established. Will you release request. the document to the public? It's unclassified. Don't you think the American people have a right to see it? Uh, Senator, the document, as you know, contains sensitive information that has bearing on the life of the source of the information, potentially. You can redact the source's name. We do this all the time. In some instances, Senator, and I know you know this, that is not sufficient to protect people. And that's what we strive and work to do each and every day. And I hope you would take that seriously, too. Oh, I take it very seriously, but I also take seriously the fact that your institution has repeatedly abused its authority, has repeatedly targeted political opponents. Your institution is the one that went to the door of pro-life protesters with SWAT teams to try and intimidate people because of their speech. Your institution is the one that treated parents as domestic terrorists because of their speech. Your institution is the one that, according to the court, the FISA court, ran 278,000 unwarranted, probably illegal queries on Americans, right? That was your institution, correct? There, the, with respect to the compliance incidents, yes, some of the other things you cited, we can take them one by one, they are not. Compliance, you, you would characterize the unlawful querying 278,000 times of American citizens as compliance issues? We've said before, I've said that the totally unacceptable. Who's been uh, fired for it? Individuals involved uh, are handled through the disciplinary process. Who's been fired for it? We have, there w in, the, in the case of the uh, unintentional instance where something similar happened, we have fired people in the past. Wait, I, I'm sorry, what, what, what does that word salad mean? The unintentional instance where some, what, what does that mean? Who's been fired for the 278,000 times that you improperly or illegally queried the database for American citizens? When we Anybody? When we find intentional incidents. Well, you're saying that the 278,000 queries were unintentional? I believe that's correct. Wow, 278,000 times 
American citizens' information was queried by your agency unintentionally? That's your testimony? I would want to go back and check that, Senator. Uh, but well, that's yes, what you just told me. My understanding is that the vast majority of Well, wait, the, that's different. You just said it was. You just said it was unintentional. Now it's the vast majority. Which is it? Do you know? I would want to go back and check it. So you don't my know. My understanding is that likely all are were unintentional. Likely in, all. So first it was all of them. Then it was vast majority. Now it's likely all. So you don't know is the answer to the question. I don't know the answer as we sit here today, but I will Could find have started out with I that, probably. to you. Who was fired for the lies to the FISA court for the Carter Page warrant? Who, who, who was fired for that? Anybody? Has anybody been held accountable for your institution deliberately lying to a FISA court to get a wiretap on an ongoing presidential campaign? There is an ongoing disciplinary process with respect to individuals involved in that. Here's the deal. You're back in front of us asking for the reauthorization of extraordinary authorities. Multiple courts have uncovered extraordinary abuses perpetrated by your agency. You are at the same time concealing information about serious allegations made against the President of the United States, even as your institution also targets his chief political opponent in an unprecedented way. Why would we ever give you the blank check that you want to continue surveilling American citizens in an improper manner? Why would we ever do that? Senator, we're here to talk about reforms today. I did get confirmation that the query... Is no, we're not. We're here to talk about the reauthorization of Section 702. Why would we reauthorize it, given your track record of abuse and illegal and proper surveillance and political targeting? Why would we do that? Why would it be appropriate for this body to do that? We've made significant reforms and implemented corrective measures. We've seen significant progress as a result of that, Senator. The... Uh, so you Queries say. that you mentioned early were, in fact, unintentional. That's what I was just told by my counterpart. That, that is an amazing. The earliest question, the earlier to, question. So your testimony is the 280,000 queries of American citizens was unintentional. That's your final answer? That's how they were assessed by that team that did the review. I'm not satisfied with that. That's yeah, why I don't believe we've that implemented all. further measures, as I announced earlier today. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that at all. And frankly, we've heard from your agency a thousand times that you're going to do better, will do better. You promised after the abuses of Title I, you'd do better. And then we find out that in the meantime, you're illegal query, illegally querying 280,000 American citizens' data. It's just, it's unbelievable, frankly. Everything you say is unbelievable. Senator Tillis?